Hello and welcome back to free Excel tutorial videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use VBA to add a date or a, a time or a date stamp on when you update a record. So we are going to use VBA to do this and it is going to be called an event handler macro. What we want is to be able to do is uh, when we make a change to one of our records here, we want to have a date and a timestamp, okay, like this, okay? So now many people will probably use the now function, which is um, equals now, and you have the argument, okay? But this function is a volatile function. So whenever we use it, it will pick up the system clock date, which is today, okay? So it won't work, so it's, it's not what we want. Um, and if you use the control semicolon function, you will enter today's date. Or control shift semicolon, you will enter the current time. So this will not be automated like when we change the information over here. Okay, so what we want is whenever we go here and make a change, uh, example, let's go here, um, Danny. Nielsen is put okay. we will have a a, a updated um, time here okay so uh, let's say and if the name is incorrect and you want to make the correction you edit again and you will get the time over here and we want this to have we want it to be automatic okay so let me show you how to do this, okay? So over here, let's open up the Visual Basics. Over here, I have the, the codes. Okay? Uh, that we will be using. Uh, let me just make this a little bigger. That we will be using um for our macro so if you need it just go ahead and pause the video and copy down the code for you to use it later on when we actually create the macro okay macro so this will be our event handler macro so what we're going to do here is we are referring to our if then and we are referring to a variable which gets added in automatically as the target as the variable that we are going to use. So if the target column is column one, in other words, it is the letter A, then we want this event handler macro to add in the date and time. So in other words, change the value for the target in this row in the second column, okay? So it will change in the second column. Okay, the other two lines are added so that we can, the other two, these two, okay, we are added so that we can prevent the macro from entering into an endless loop, okay? So let's go ahead and see how we create this, okay? So I'm gonna come back here to this worksheet. I'm going to copy this data to this new worksheet. Now let's do it in a new workbook. So let's press Control N, and I have a new workbook. Let's paste it, and let's uh, make it bigger, and put it updated over here. Okay, and we want this to be bold. Okay, and let me zoom in so that you can see better. Okay, so now I will write the macro. Okay, so let's go to the developer tab and click on Visual Basics. So we have um, the project explorer here. And now we want this uh, VBA to be implemented on the workbook two. Okay. So this is the workbook number two. So we want it to be 
applied on workbook 2. So let's come over here and you come over to this explorer over here and you see we have uh, VBA project book 2. Let's open this one and we are now in the sheet number one okay so let's apply it over here double click and you can see we have a blank screen okay so uh, on the top left here we have a drop down so we are going to select worksheet and you see the X, the, the VBA will pro produce a, a few lines of text over here and on the top right over here for this selection change we will select change okay so now let's put a few lines here to create the space okay, I have the codes that I previously showed you here in notepad so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in here okay let's press control V Okay, and now our macro is done. Okay, so let's try it out. Let's come over to book number two and make a change. So let's come here, press F2. I'm gonna type in the name. Let's go for Ben Brandon. And you will see that we have an updated um, time and date stamp over here. Okay, uh, you can update it again. Perhaps uh, you know you make an error. So let's say Ben Stiller. You will see that it has been updated again. Okay, let's do another one. Let's go to Mary um, Henry Henry Holmes. Let's do it, and you can see that um, the Excel will automatically create a time and date stamp. Uh, when we edit or make changes to a record that we have, okay? And we have done this by using the Microsoft Visual Basic, okay? And uh, this is a event handler macro, okay? So this is a very uh, easy and simple tip, but very useful if you need this kind of function for your Microsoft Excel. So I hope um, you like the video. I will see you in the next video.